Louisiana rap legend Lil Webby finds himself at the center of controversy as social media accusing him of being linked to the tragic incident where his toy DJ murdered his wife before taking his own life. Before we dive into the details, let's briefly talk about Lil Webby. Known as a pioneering figure in the Louisiana rap scene, Lil Webby has made significant contributions to the genre with hits like Independent and Give Me That. He's been a prominent figure in the industry for years, but now he's in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Police are investigating a tragic shooting in Powder Springs, just outside of Atlanta. Authorities discovered a woman dead and a man critically injured from gunshot wounds. They believe the man shot himself after fatally shooting the woman. He was rushed to Wellstar Kennestown Hospital, while the scene remains under investigation. We start in Powder Springs, where police are investigating that deadly double shooting. News Edge reporter Eric Mock has the latest. Powder Springs police tell us they got the call of shots fired here at this Forest Hill Road home at around noon Sunday. They're not identifying the victim and suspect in this murder suicide yet. Powder Springs police investigators say the woman who lives here was killed by a man before he turned the gun on himself. Police say the man was first taken to the hospital in critical condition, but at last check, police said he wasn't expected to survive. Investigators have not given a possible motive yet. It's reported that the crime occurred after the DJ posted a rant on Facebook. Detailing the struggles and mental toll of being Lil Webby's DJ. He expressed how he was barely getting paid, had to act as a doctor, driver, and booking agent, and detailed the immense stress he was under. He even mentioned that a producer had a brain aneurysm and criticized Lil Webby's ego. Let's take a look at this post. Dog, DJing for Webby is a living hell. First, that nigga don't want to pay. Then, that nigga don't want to see nobody around him shine. Like nobody, not even his own brother. Why y'all think everybody left from around him? I was only supposed to be his tour DJ, but I had to be a driver, a doctor, a security, a PR, a babysitter, booking agent, a referee, a counselor, a road manager, and a list of other things. But yet, this nigga don't appreciate none of it. I did all of that ish with a smile on my face in front of thousands every night, but I was dying inside. All the times he had seizures on the plane, on stages, in the hotel, who y'all think was there? Me. Because his family ain't want to deal with him, or nobody on his team wanted to deal with him but me. I would drive a quick because he didn't want to pay him. Then every time we would try to make our own money in other ways, he would always find a way to stop that too. So it's like he don't want to pay, but don't want us eating nowhere else. Then the nigga want to get mad and in his feelings when Boosie need us to help him. The nigga a straight hater. I can't remember how many times that he told me he don't want nobody blowing up off his name. That's why he don't do features. And he don't like taking pictures with other artists or fans. Nigga think they trying to get shine off him. It was days I straight dreaded going on tour with him. The nigga complains about everything. Being around him is like having to take care of my kid. We had to remind him every day to take his medicine or not to do stupid-ish. The nigga would do some stupid kitty shit and be like, gutter, record me doing this. And the shit would never get better because his brother Derek just makes excuses for him even though he be mad that he don't pay him either. The ish on the road was so bad our longtime manager had a stroke and all. Then the producer for Savage Like 6 had a brain aneurysm or something of that nature. Because he was stressed and all, Webby wanted him to produce the whole album but not pay and didn't want to do the split sheets or nothing. Niggas say it's my song I should get all the money and yes he has a health issue that causes him to have seizures but it gets 10 times worse when he snout that dope. He gotta be the worst artist to DJ for. Yes, I DJ for him 10 years, but I was always hoping it would get better or another major artist would recognize my talent, but he blocked everything. I never asked dude for ish. I came around with my own everything. This super unit ish is the biggest piece of bull ish. That ish is only designed so Derek can get paid while everybody else do the work. He promised to help artists, but never do. It was some good times, but it was more bad times than anything. I never in my life met somebody that complained more than him. That nigga is straight up miserable. Breaking down this post, it's clear the DJ was under significant stress. He felt overworked and underpaid, taking on multiple roles beyond his job description. The mention of a producer having a brain aneurysm and the criticism of Lil Webby's ego highlights a toxic work environment. And as of this recording, there hasn't been a statement or a response from Lil Webby, but I guess as time go on, we might see him respond or he might not. This incident brings to light the importance of mental health.
tough, especially in high pressure jobs within the music industry. If you or someone you know is struggling, there are resources and helplines available to offer support. To wrap up, we have covered the key points regarding the DJ's Facebook posts and its implications. This is a developing story and we'll provide updates as more details emerge. Stay tuned for future videos. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for more updates on this developing story. God bless and I'm gone.